हेलो ब्यूटीफुल पीपल आई एम डी जे एंड वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डी जे कुक्स एंड बुक्स इट्स मे फर्स्ट टू डे इज़ अ हॉलीडे इट्स एंड आई एम रिलैक्सिंग एंड हैविंग चिल्ड डे विद अ बुक सो इट्स अबाउट नून नाउ बट आई डिड वेक अप अटल अर्लियर नॉट लिटल अर्लियर अ लॉट अर्लियर इन फैक्ट आई वेक अप early then i went for a walk while listening to the book then i came back and fell asleep actually before noon that's crazy but it was a really good nap very very satisfying and i am glad that i got it out of the way even before the day began and without further ado i'm going to tell you about the book that i'm reading and the book that i am reading today is mieko kawakami's all the lovers in the night or in japanese it is called subete mayonaka no koibito tachi kawakami mieko and i am doing it sort of in a hybrid way where i have this physical copy in japanese and i am just browsing it a little bit because it will take me a long long time to read it but i got it on my trip to japan in february and i have it on audiobook in english uh, the translated version so i am listening to it and i just made coffee and i decided that i will have a chat with you about the book uh, about the 32 ish percent of the book that i have already read so far I am a big fan of Mieko Kawakami because I have loved her book Breast and Egg Heaven and Miss Ice Sandwich and I also have read another exciting book of hers that uh, to talk about Sisters in Yellow which is being translated at the moment and it will come out probably next year in 2025 I will talk about that later but right now I haven't uh, read her recent or the most recent english translation uh all the lovers in the night let me tell you what the story is about so far uh, it is about the protagonist uh, irie fuyuko fuyuko is the first name and she is a very shy sort of introverted person living very solitary life she doesn't have any friends that's something that stands out in the beginning of the book her co- co-workers ask her out for drinks and events but she always makes some excuses to say no and that sort of creates tension between them and by the way it's so hot today in india it's currently a heat wave going on it's 40 degrees probably today and that's why it's the perfect opportunity to read something just stay home and relax with my iced coffee it's pretty weak coffee but i am really liking it it has hazelnut flavor no sugar though and i'm perfect it's perfect for now and what was i saying about the book yes fuyuko irie let me chew on the ice Fuyuko Irie is uh, 34 years old and she doesn't have many friends and her job is solitary her co-workers sort of don't like her and she doesn't like her co-workers back and she is very lonely she just keeps working on her tasks that have been given to her but one day one of her former co-workers comes and tells her that there is some freelance work that she would like her to do uh, on the side proofreading of course and some other company needs freelancers and she since she doesn't have any social life she decides to go for it that's where she meets 
another person, another protagonist maybe, I'm not sure, called Hijiri Ishikawa. And Hijiri is a total opposite of Fuyuko, I think. Hijiki is an interesting character. She is very outgoing. She connects with Fuyuko almost immediately. She is a coordinator at the, this new company where Fuyuko is working as freelancer. And Hijiri is the one she contacts when Fuyuko has anything to ask about the work or Hijiri is always the one who is assigning work to Fuyuko, the manuscripts of the books that she has to proofread. And once they meet up for drinks and they talk about general things, life, and Hijiri had some really interesting moves, uh, moves, not moves, Hijiri had some in really interesting views. Hijiri thinks that people who are super into being their natural selves are not great and she thinks people who are uh, who believe in something bigger in the universe or some holistic view of the world, if they have a holistic view of the world, that's very stupid in her her uh, opinion the the universe or the power the higher power according to hijiri is too huge to care about some petty human things and emotions and lives of tiny human beings it does make sense a little bit but i don't agree with her and i i felt little attacked when she was saying those things uh, and she admits uh, hijiri that uh, she sort of blurts all these views out. It's very funny where this character is just how sort of different from Fuyuko who is just thinking everything, just internalizing everything and just thinking, overthinking and again and again. And Hijiki seems to be super happy-go-lucky. She doesn't really care about too much of... Uh, other people's opinions about her etc that's a quite a nice uh, contrast there i felt like and even though they have gone for drinks hijiki and fuyuko fuyuko does not drink alcohol she says that once few years ago a lot of years ago maybe nine years ago when she was in college or something she had tried one alcoholic drink and did not like it the, like the taste and how it made her feel it's ever since she has never taken a drink and she keeps on drinking non-alcoholic drinks and Irie, uh, no, Hijiki keeps on drinking beer and whatever other alcohol that she wants to drink with her and suddenly after a few days of after meeting Hijiki, Fuyuko <laughs> decides to try drinking beer and sake, uh, Nihonshu or the Japanese rice wine and she experiments with beer and sake and she tries like having one drink at a time and makes herself get used to the feeling and makes her makes herself strong enough to not feel sick or not get sick after drinking However, strangely, the next time they meet, I don't think she drinks with Hijiki, drinks alcohol, she just drinks alone. And one jarring thing that I <laughs> I was like, is nobody going to talk about it, is that she fills up her thermos, kind of, with a water bottle kind of thing with sake and takes it to random places with her. She starts drinking like at 8 in the morning and she experiments with mixing alcohol and having caffeine also back to back and then that's what makes her sick and she then decides to avoid that very interesting <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure where uh, this drinking habit of Fuyukos is going uh, but then she mysteriously not so mysteriously though she meets this man and it's not a meet cute I don't want to reveal everything but she does meet a man and they are talking and it's unlikely that they strike up a conversation but something extraordinarily rare happens and somehow they start talking and and that's where 
I am right now, maybe somewhere like here in the story, one third ish, 32, 33% in, and I'm enjoying it so far. I like the audiobook narrator as well, and I'll update you once I am maybe 50 or 60% in, and yeah, until then, I will just enjoy my coffee and try to beat this heat with some ice, more ice drinks. And I might cook something as well. Maybe I will bake some bread, but I'm not sure if I'm up to the task of going near the oven right now. Maybe I'll just laze around, read a little bit and decide what to do in the evening. I'll talk to you once I have something to say about the work. Look, I'm doing a proper reading vlog. I'm so proud of myself. I always lack the patience or something, whatever that is required to vlog, but I'm doing it. I and I'm kind of enjoying it. Cheers. about 60% into the book and I have had a nice watermelon break and the story is somewhere where Fuyuko is reminiscing about her high school days something pretty traumatic happened to her and that has influenced her life ever since and she meets up with another co-worker from her earlier company where she worked but doesn't work anymore and this co-worker is quite bitchy about <laughs> the hijiri her new work friend and she thinks that she's too too like uh, rash and hijiri is too um, bold and she's always going after men and she thinks it's wrong for some reason and uh, she thinks that she always speaks her mind and expects other women to do so too. While she is super beautiful, she is being listened to, but other people are not being listened to, and she doesn't consider other people, or she's not considerate of other people's feelings. That's an interesting point of view. While this is happening, uh, Fuyuko is also obsessed with Mitsutsuka, the man that she has met earlier, a kind man who has helped her uh, when she was in trouble a little bit. He, she loses her bag and wallet in it and he goes to the police station with her to register a complaint, etc. And she kind of starts liking him, but she is not sure what it means to like someone. And she's trying to find a reason why that is, why she is so disconnected with her own feelings. And she has little chats with Hijiki about what does it mean to like someone or date someone or be with someone or be committed with, uh, to someone etc and Hijiki as always has fun views like she's about situationships all about situationships she's not into being with somebody where she likes likes them yeah so that is all happening and she's still quite <coughs> into her head Fuyuko our main character and she's been drinking a lot i'm a little worried about her she's drowning like whole cartons of sake now she's started ordering 
big cartons because they are cheaper now and she's drinking a lot and thinking a lot and that's where we are let's see how things go now hi i am done with the book i have finished it it's in the evening now and it's been a while <laughs> since i updated you maybe it was 60% when i updated it and i don't know what to say it's pretty interesting fuyuko goes on a full arc of self discovery if i can say that hijiri had a discovery of her own and i don't want to be spoilery i don't want to spoil too much but she has been quite passive fuyuko as you might have guessed in the beginning i told you that she is shy and she is not very outgoing but she questions herself and finally finds some place where she feels good about herself and people around her and it's really nice and <clears throat> to reach there she has to go through some turmoil some challenges and that's what the story is about and if you are somebody who are, who is in their 30s you will have those questions what fuyuko is questioning what does it mean to be with somebody what does it mean to like someone etc what does it mean to love someone how can you trust someone etc and i think those questions are universal whether you are in your teens or 20s or 30s i am the same age as the protagonist fuyuko and i feel like i had some type of common things with her when i was younger but then as i got older i have more things common with the other woman hijiri uh, who is more outgoing and who if she wants to do something she just goes for it and i'm trying to be like that not entirely like that but i think i would just say whatever i want to say rather than just keeping it inside and letting it torture myself so that is about the book i liked it i don't know how many stars i am going to give it maybe four i liked it so four stars probably i did not read too much of the japanese text i just listened to it on audio while i baked and cooked and stuff like that so speaking of what i baked <laughs> these are the focaccia sandwiches that i made the focaccia looks good and i just baked some or roasted some mushrooms or grilled some mushrooms I have some jalapenos which are pretty spicy i just discovered and some tomatoes it's a very basic sandwich but uh cheers that's a good sound and tastes good too <laughs> so i'm really feeling content even though i'm a little tired from having a full day of listening to the audiobook and processing my thoughts and filming and cooking and baking and i also did some tidying up laundry etc etc tomorrow and day after tomorrow i have to work so mentally preparing myself for that now i'm just going to relax with my sandwiches <laughs> maybe i'll have nice cold some juice or something oh i have the watermelon that i cut up earlier i will have that and i will let you know about what my thoughts are about that second book uh maybe over the weekend let's hope i will update you for the weekend and maybe if i do get up to anything more interesting i will let you know that as well okay i'll talk to you later now i'm going to enjoy this mm. Mm.